What's up ladies and gents, I'm your host Tennis Trainer one and I have got a very very special video for you today Newly released and I can't even believe I'm saying this because these two words or uh, this whole it just feels really really weird Seeing Metal Gear Solid on PC. We're gonna be playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes on the PC and that is right for those of you that uh, are wondering yes this is going to be uploaded in 4k so for those of you that have a 4k or 1440p you're gonna see just how amazing this game looks as well as those in 1080p it's gonna look even better than it did on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox one or any of the backwards console systems so I'm very very excited to do this I've actually uh, played a little bit of it so far in 4k um, I'm going to be using the mouse and keyboard to control all of this this is so new to me but you guys know probably more than likely when I play this game I will be using um, a controller and I don't know if the game is going to be coming out the main Metal Gear Solid 5 game I don't know if it's going to be coming out on PC the same time everything else is going to be coming out I'm not 100% sure but um, if they all come out at the same time then chances are likely that I will be playing the PC version so uh, I'm excited to do this hopefully you guys are as well I know a lot of you have already seen um, a lot of the stuff about the game and whatnot, but I still want to show you some of it. This is not going to be a full walkthrough. I don't know. I might get through the whole thing. It just depends. But um, as in 4K, the video files are super huge, and of course, I have to take them into an editor just to be able to shrink them down a little bit so that they can be uploaded to YouTube because it just it gets ridiculous and crazy. But I'm so excited to actually be able to play this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the options right now and what we have everything set up to. Now, uh, as you can see, this is full screen. We are running 4K. Uh, we're, this is just being played on display number one, which is my 4K display. Uh, vertical sync is off, so that G-Sync is on. Uh, frame weight, there's a couple of different options, but the, the biggest one you have is 30 frames per second. So I'm guessing you can't even play anything more than 30 frames per second in this game, which is a little bit of a, um, you know, whatever, but you gotta think about it. I mean, do you really need any more than that with this type of game? I mean, hopefully it's going to be great and you guys are going to enjoy it. Everything else is set to extra high, so you guys are going to see the best of the best of the best. This is by far going to be the most beautiful gameplay that you're going to find on YouTube for Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. So we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is set good. Alright, so if you guys want to take a look at some of the PC controls, uh, you can take a look here. It can tell you exactly what you need to do. It's a little weird to get used to. Now, uh, they did Metal Gear Solid, if I remember correctly, was on PC. I do not remember if any of the other games were on PC or not, but I do remember that the original Metal Gear Solid was on PC. And as you can see, there's uh, some of your controls, what you can do and stuff. But we'll learn all that stuff in-game. I don't want to learn any of it because I want to go in and have fun and just see if I can be stealthy on the PC. Uh, using controls that I've never used before in my life, so it's gonna be really fun. Now, I do have a controller plugged in as well, so maybe uh, throughout this video or whatever, I might switch over to the um, controller and then get a feel for how it is with the controller as opposed to how it is with the uh, the keyboard itself. And um, of course, I've always been more of a controller, but I, I'd like to convert. I mean, I'm um, I'm wanting to convert, and I'm wanting to be one of those guys, but I just love gaming, period. doesn't matter what it's on. Um, all right, so I think we are ready to go. Now, most of you that have watching this video have already seen me actually play the full thing on the PlayStation 4. If you want to see that stealthy walkthrough, then please go check that out on my channel as well. I will make sure that the link for that is in the description below. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, I will show the cutscenes just so you guys can see them in amazing quality. Even if you're on 1080p, the quality is still going to be better than what it was on the PS4. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And we are going to go ahead and get in here. Mission select. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird is that you can't control the menu system through your mouse. Um, at least I've found that, that you can't do that. So, um, yeah. And as you can see, I haven't played the game as it's not unlocked the hard difficulty level. So normally you would always see me play, especially these games, on hard. But since we haven't beat it or anything like that, we're just going to be going through on normal because I want to figure out these controls and I just want to see how beautiful the gameplay is. We're really going to take some time and look into this PC port of this game. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, wait, subscribe. It's good time.
told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. He didn't suffer long. Here. You earned it. How does it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Pass to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Pass is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side.
So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Pops. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring them back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Pass, then report back from the rendezvous point. Send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission needs backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. are being held in an old, unused part of the compound. Get inside and head northeast. <laughs> 